Hello, my friends. Good evening. Welcome again to the class number what? Number seven. Yes. So we're about, um, we're close to the middle of the course. Ya casi a la mitad del curso, ¿verdad? Solo tres clases más. Yes. And then you're going to have vacations. Van a tener like, what? Like 15 days, like two or three weeks. What? Two weeks of vacations. Cuando dos semanas están de vacaciones para, and then you can, uh, in the new course, okay? So here we have some of you ready to start the class. Luis, good evening, my friend. Good evening, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? Well, I'm very, pretty, very pretty good. good. What about you? Good? Yes, very Perfect. good. Well, that's the attitude. Thanks for telling me, Carito. Hello, Carito. Hello, teacher. How are you? Well, I'm terrific. That's good. That's good. And you? Fine. fine. Mm, that fine sounds like suena como. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, fine. It's okay. Okay. A long okay. day. Yes. Uh, usually, well, it is common that um, Mondays and Tuesday are not so uh, good. Well, now yes. in my case, uh, we try to have like a positive attitude, but Mondays and Tuesdays are too long, so como bien extensos. In Colombia, we use the the expression cara de lunes. Cara de lunes. <laughs> it's like you have okay. Yes. <laughs> cara de lunes, okay. A mí me decían cara de niño, pero ya no. Not anymore. Ah, okay. <laughs> Antes, okay. before, before now, nada que ver. Cara de otra cosa, me dice. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, quieren, quieren. Kenya, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Mm, are you okay? Fine, excellent. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very nice. And Carlita, ready to the debate. Viene a debatir, dice Carlita. No, no tenía esa duda. <laughs> no, para nada, para nada. No debates. No hay debates. No. How are you, ah, Carlita? Bye, okay. Sí, porque ya sentía carito que, ay, no. Carito ya venía con la inyección. Sí, para todos. ya, no. Ajá, que, no, que no carito no. ni siquiera pone anestesia de un solo la inyección. Va, Carito. So, it was a meme. Solo wow, meme. Okay. Okay. Relaxing okay. people. Okay. okay. Take it easy. Okay, chill out. Okay. Okay, okay Carlita, how are you? Hola. How are you? How are you? Fine. Good. Excellent. Good. Good. Okay. And so welcome, my dear friends. This is the class number 777. And we're going to continue with how to use imperatives. Imperatives are practically commands, instructions, okay, directions. Así que los imperativos Son como comandos, son indicaciones, son como órdenes disfrazadas de amabilidad hasta cierto punto. So, how to use imperatives. Class number seven, beginners. Okay. But before we go to the topic, what is the last book you read? Read es en presente, leer. Pero read, que suena como color rojo, read. Es, el, es como leer, pero en pasado. ¿Cuál es el último libro que leíste? Ok. Remember that. Read. En presente se dice read. Y en pasado se dice read. Se escribe literalmente igual. Pero la pronunciación es diferente. Ok. Read, read. Uh, this is um, an irregular verb. Es un verbo irregular. Ok. So, um, let's listen to some of you. And what is it about? You can talk about like a little bit about the book that you read. Maybe the last that you remember, or even if you were a kid, no problem with that. So in this case, we're going to start with Kenya. Okay, Kenya, do you remember the last book? Me encanta que yo sea la primera. No, no, lo que pasa es que trato de derrotarlo para que no sean los mismos. Okay, teacher. Que Carito les da chance, porque antes la manita ahí, la Carito. Hoy ya estamos ¿verdad? Ahí deja a, lo, a, lo, a los demás que, Richard, que los solo una consulta. 
cuando es el nombre de un libro, siempre lo voy a decir en inglés o en español. If you can say it in English, it's okay. But if not, you can say it in Spanish. For example, Cien Años de Soledad, it sounds better in Spanish, right? Suena mejor en español. Definitely. Uh, okay. it, is, it, is it is weird to say 100 years of loneliness. It is no, no, come on. Cien Años de Soledad, it has like a, a, a big uh, weight, como que tiene un peso, un peso en español que, que realmente trasciende. So that's it, right? Okay, so Kenya, tell me another point. Okay, you bueno, can say it in Spanish. Yo se lo voy a decir en inglés porque... No, English or Spanish depends on you. Remember okay. that there are some books from England, from America, so you can say it in, in English, but uh, books from Spanish, uh, well, written in Spanish, is better to say it in Spanish, but depends on you. Okay. okay. The, the last one I read was the... Need, no sé si así se escribe. Si así se dice, Neil in the Roosting Armor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y el, okay. What is it about? Uh -huh. It's about tragedy, sí. eh, it's fiction, eh, romance, drama. Okay. Vale, así coloqué. It is about that we, we must free our service of the barrier that prevent us from no with uh, loving each other ear other to be able to get and uh, receive receive love in abundance in abundance okay abundance. uh could you repeat the name of the of the book uh needle una aguja or what no no es el caballero de la armadura oxidada Ah, uh, yeah. The night armor? Mm -hmm. Or what? Hello? What is it? The night? Uh, the, mm -hmm. the night. Uh -huh. No sé si así se, se dice. The night in the rusty, in the rusty. armor. Ah, okay. The, the night. Escucha the need. Ah, okay. no. So thank you. Very okay. nice. Well, I guess I heard that book. What is the name of the other? You remember the other, el autor? The writer? Ay, no, 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 no recuerdo. Okay, no problem. Es okay. que lo leí hace como dos años, que me lo pidieron okay. En, en la U. Okay, that's nice. Thank you, Kenya. Okay, now let's listen to Carito. What about you? Okay, teacher. The last book I read is Little Woman. The history focuses on the lives of four teenage sisters with very different personalities who, despite the difficulties, try to improve themselves in the context of the civil war. Civil war in the United States, right? Yes, that's yeah, right. United States, that's it. And even there are, there are some cartoons and movies about it. It is yes. a, really, a really good book, right? Yes, uh, pretty. Remember the name of the, the writer because it was a woman, right? I don't read, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it was a woman, I guess. Pretty. I don't remember because I read it, but, but when I was, oh, I was very young. Years so, and years ago. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And so little women, right? Mujercitas. Little women, yes. Perfect. It's a really good one. Thank you. Yeah. What about, thank, thank you, Carito. You. Nice. What about uh, Luis? Okay, Luis. And then Gabriel. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tal vez no le parezca extraño, pero... Oh, come <laughs> on. The last book I read, The Apocalypse of the Bible. Oh, really? Oh, very interesting. Um, and it is about what will happen in the future time on Earth. Wars, diseases, uh, natural disasters, in conclusion, and end of humanity. Yes, it is very, I guess it is a very interesting book uh, of, of the Bible, right? It is, well, it is not weird, but it is not common. Ese es el punto, que no es que eh, sea raro, pero no es muy común, right? But okay. we should, we should read, uh, read it, of course. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So, very nice, um, thank you. Uh, what about uh, Gabriel? 
And then Edwin. Good evening, teacher. Oh, I'm trying. Uh, my last book of Christ. My last book was? Mm -hmm. Is the Holy Bible. Ah, the Holy Bible. Okay. Excellent. Okay, I. The, uh, Next, it is about the new school forums and office humans law. Okay, that's it. Okay. I always consider Bible uh, like one of the uh, best books because of the vocabulary that it contains, right? It is good. When you read any kind of book, your vocabulary spans. So you can have some other ideas and other forms to say it, okay? So the verb of your, well, the way you speak changes. Letting que uno habla cambia un poco. Yes, that's it. That's one of the advantages of reading. Thank you, Gabriel. Uh, Edwin, your turn, and then Carlita. Okay, thank you. Um, I read the book. I read, uh, I read. I read, read. read. I read the book Andanzas y Malandanzas ah. uh, the Alberto Riva Bonilla. Uh, it deals uh, with the adventures and misadventures of, of Canelo. On their own. Uh, no, no, no. Of a poor farm dog poor... named Nero. Yes. Close sure. to poor prison master named Toribio. Okay. Yes, uh, ooh, the, ooh. The, the writer is Salvadorian, right? He's from here, from El Salvador. Yes, a yes. really nice book. Yes. It's about uh, adventures of a dog. Edun Perrito. It's very yes. nice. Okay. But uh, what about if we we'll listen now to Oscar and then Wilfredo? Okay, Oscar, are you ready with your answer? What is the last book you read? Is it about? Yes. Thanks. Yes. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, well, uh, actually, I don't know read much. Oh, okay. But the last book I read uh, or read is the Bible and science. I read it is seem to me most interesting. In. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about if we listen now to Wilfredo? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Wilfredo. Hey, uh, uh, what is the love book you drew? The mm -hmm. Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Uh, the Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Yes. Ah, Tom Sawyer. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. What is it about? Uh, it it is, is about it, what Tom Sawyer Venturis will is when to the bar of the Mississippi River. Okay, yes, it is a, a boy, right? It's a boy and adventures, and he has some friends. Well, it is kind of yeah. interesting. And even there is a there there is a cartoon about it. I caricature sobre eso, me parece. Yes. Okay, thank you, Wilfredo. And what if we we'll listen to uh, Rosita, please? And then Adonai. Hi, teacher. Oh. The last book I read was Boda de Sangre by Federico Garcia Lorca. Lorca. Yes. And the book talks about love and death. Uh, betrayal. Betrayal, traición. Betrayal. betrayal. Yeah. Yes, and I love that book. It's, it's, really, it's really interesting because, uh, well, a woman and a man, they are going to get married, but the woman loves another man, right? Yes. And they escape. They escape from, from the wedding. Well, it's kind of tragic and interesting book. Okay, it's like tragedy. Thank you. Thank you, Zita. Okay, now let's listen now to Adonai, right? Oh, right. The last book I read was 
the black book of hours to suspend a lot of. Sí, pero si me la puedes echar yeah. en la otra cosita. Ok, de Black Books, permítame que alguien tiene el micrófono activado. No, no, creo que Carita se emocionó. Ok, the Black Book of, of what, Adonai? Uh, I read was the Black Book of Hours. Ah, of Hours. Mm. Uh, what it is about? They'll have former inspector, Nai Lopez, alias Kraken. Receive mm -hmm. anonymous call. It's anonymous. What thing he now about his family past? Mm -hmm. He has a way to open the black book of ours and not his mother. Could he doubt was resting in the cemetery for in the years? Cemetery. Why died? Very city book. Oh, very interesting. Is that tragedy, drama, horror, right? It sounds like suspense and a lot suspense. of Suspense, yeah, that, that's the word. Okay, suspense. Interesting. Nice, I don't I didn't know the, the name of that book, or even I didn't hear about it, but it sounds really good. Okay, thank you, my thank friend. You. Very well done. Okay, now, ways. Uh, thank you for all your answers. Gracias por sus respuestas. Um, I can see that you have very nice likes about reading tienen buenos gustos de lectura so that is good it is good so ways to say i don't understand forma de decir no entiendo you can say i don't get it i don't get it it doesn't make sense i didn't pick that up i didn't pick that up up i didn't catch that say that again please Say that again, please. Come again, please. Come again, no, again. Again, again, please. Say it again, please. Say it again, please. So I don't get it, como no caigo, no capto. It doesn't make sense. Mm, no, no, como que no tiene sentido. Sé que have significa tener, pero make eh, se utiliza. It doesn't make sense, okay? I didn't pick that up. No lo agarré. Igual que I didn't catch that, como que no agarré la idea. Mm -hmm. Say that again, please. Come again, please. Uh, say that again, please. Eh, dilo otra vez, por favor. Come again, please. Mm, Puedes mencionarlo otra vez. Eh, say it again, please. Eh, igual, lo mismo. Bueno, chula. Este y este es prácticamente lo mismo. Okay. So, um, eh, normalmente la gente dice, I don't understand. No entiendo. Pero... Se escucha mejor, I don't get it. El que, lo que yo utilizo es I don't get it, porque me gusta cómo suena, y la de it doesn't make sense. Esta me gusta mucho a mí. It doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Okay? So you can say it if a person is uh, talking and that person asks about a question. For example, uh, ask uh, if, if uh, your boss asks you something, Rosita, and Rosita is... I don't know what you're, are you talking about. So you can say, mm, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Okay, or oh, it doesn't make sense to me. I didn't catch that. Okay, Carito. Perdón, teacher, puedo Aprovecho. apagar la cámara mientras, ¿cómo? Yeah, please, please. No, no hay problema, gracias. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so these are uh, the, these uh, forms, okay, to, to say it. Uh, I need you to pick one and practice it and say it, okay? We start with Rosita and then we go with Edwin. Okay, Rosita, one. Whatever from the list. I don't get it. Good, Edwin, Gabriel. Uh, I doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't. Good, Gabriel, Carlita. Say it again, please. Say, say, say it again, please. Yes, please. Good. And Carlita Adonai. I don't get it. I don't get it. Fácil, I don't get it. Adonai Wilfredo. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Good. Wilfredo um, Oscar. Say it again, please. Okay, good. Oscar and Carlos. Say that again, please. Okay, good. 
Carlos, are you there? ¿Está por ahí, Carlos? Okay. Si no, vamos con Luis en Kenia. I don't get it. Get it. Good. Eh, Kenia, Joana. I did No sé si es I did not o I didn't. I didn't or ah, I, I did, did not, como tú quieras. I okay, did. I didn't pick that, that up. Okay, good. Eh, Joana Mardoqueo. I didn't catch that. Good. Mardoqueo, Stephanie. Say that again, please. Hmm? Say that again, please. Good. Stephanie, and then we go with uh, Jacqueline. She's still here. I don't get it. To get it, go Jacqueline. Say it again, please. Say it again, please. Good. Raquel, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, can you say one of these phrases, please? Let me see. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. <clears throat> It yes, doesn't it doesn't make sense. Good. Sorry. Nice. No problem. Uh, that was good. Okay. This vocabulary, as I always give uh, or present uh, phrases uh, or words, it is for you to have it or to memorize one or two of these. Okay. And you can uh, practice during conversations so your English sounds naturally or sounds better. ¿verdad? La clave o el objetivo de presentar todo este vocabulario es que ustedes poco a poco vayan adoptando estas frases, estas palabras, y su inglés suene más natural, ¿verdad? No presionado, sino más natural. Ok, Carlos. Gracias por comentarme. Ok. Let's see. Ok. Vamos a hacer esto. Ad. Mm, well, we're going to ask, ya voy a pasarles, eso necesito que trabajen en esto, ok? So, how often do you, qué tan a menudo tú, entonces aquí ve, puedes escribir have meetings, o how often do you check your mail, how often do you uh, call clients, how often do you have presentations, ok, vamos a hacer por lo menos, déjenme ver vamos a hacer 1, 2, 3, 4 ok, no vamos a hacer 6 invéntense 4 bueno, 3 preguntas más, utilizando el how often, ok, entonces we're going to work in groups of 3, vamos a trabajar en grupos de 3, en qué va a consistir esto imagine Luis eh, Joana y Edwin are in a group, ustedes tres están en el grupo Entonces comienza Luis y pregunta, eh, how often do you check your mail? ¿Qué tan a menudo revisan su correo? Entonces comienza Joana y ella puede decir, ah, once a day, una vez al día. Okay? Entonces eh, tú, Luis, ya que preguntaste, aquí escribes Joana. Aquí. Escribes Joana. Y aquí escribes once a day. Luego le preguntas a, a Edwin. Bueno, ya hiciste la pregunta y Edwin va a decir, por ejemplo, three times a day, tres veces al día. Entonces tú aquí escribes, ¿verdad? Edwin, y aquí escribe three times a day. ¿Ok? So that's it. Ese es el objetivo. Vamos a hacer, eso es una encuesta, es como una survey. Entonces la pregunta principal es how often. Juan a menudo. ¿Qué tan a menudo? ¿Qué tan a menudo revisa? Eh, tienes reuniones, revisas el correo, llamas a los clientes. Eh, Tienes, uh, ¿qué? Uh, presentas a, a algo, o sea, tu jefe, hace reportes, eh, make reports, ¿ok? Así que necesito que, um, aparte de esto, pueden hacer one, two, three. O sea, al final, cuatro preguntas, ¿ya? Escriben el nombre de la persona acá y van escribiendo acá sus respuestas, ¿ok? Ok. So, I need you to do it right now. Necesito que ahorita hagan las preguntas. Imagínense las preguntas. Y este, voy a, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia. Okay, my friends. Mientras ustedes están haciendo eso para aprovechar el tiempo. Porque la clase de ahora viene un poquito cargada. Con participaciones. Okay, say hello if you are there. Andrés. No, Andrés. No. 
Present, llegando. Ok, good, Andrés. Eh, Carlos, ah, va manejando, no, no, no contesta, Carlos. Carito, hello, Carito. I'm here, teacher. Ok, thank you. Edwin. Present, teacher. Ok, perfect. Perfect. Um, let's see, Elisa. No, Elisa, right. Ok, Stephanie. Present. Good. Freddy, no, Freddy. Gabriel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Patty. Ah, no, Jacqueline. Present. Okay, good, Jacqueline. Patricia, I guess Patricia is not here. So, and who else? Joanna. I'm here. Thank you, Carla. Present. Thank you, Kenya. Present. Good, Luis. Present, teacher. That's Mardoqueo. Present, present, teacher. Okay, nice. Oscar. Present, teacher. Nice. Raquel. Present. Perfect. Rosa, Rosita. Hi, teacher. Hello, Walter. William. Present teacher. Good, Marvin. Present teacher. Okay, and Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. So now, uh, remember that we have to complete this chart. Tenemos que completar este cuadro, okay? Con, eh, pues, prácticamente eh, utilizando esta pregunta, es how often. Y ustedes le ponen, how often do you eat pizza? Cualquier pregunta puede ser. How often do you go out with your friends? How often do you drink tequila? I don't know, whatever. Cualquier pregunta, ya sea de trabajo o general que ustedes se les okay, vamos a hacer cuatro. Okay. And for this, you're going to need, van a necesitar estas. Gabriel, necesito que me ayudes con tu micrófono. Siempre se activa o tú lo activas. Cualquiera que sea de las opciones, please, desactivado. Vamos a utilizar esto, ¿ok? You can, eh, creo que lo más práctico serían estas palabras, ¿ok? Every day, every week, o pueden decir once a month, o eh, twice a, a week. Cualquiera de estas, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de estas vamos a utilizar para responder. Ya las tiene. Y es carito. Several times is an. Cabe como que dentro de esta frecuencia o estoy equivocada. No sé por qué me vino a la cabeza. Puede decir many times a day. Pero several existe el times. several times. Si ¿Sí existe. Several es como decir many. Ah, ok. Thank you. Several significa mucho. Uh -huh. Gracias. No problem. You can use it. Okay. But remember to say several times a week, several times a day. No problem. Okay. I'm going to check. Well, I'm going to form the groups. Voy a formar los grupos y necesito pues que estén pendientes en eso. Okay. Mientras eh, terminen de hacer las preguntas y ya vamos a, a esta actividad. Tenme. Give me one minute. Deme un minuto porque a veces cuando los dejo así. Teacher, teacher, hola. No sé qué. Relax, relax. One minute. Then I'll get ordinary.
Okay, see you. Jacqueline, necesito que aceptes la solicitud, igual que Andrés. Andrés, eh, de igual manera, I need you to accept. Necesito que aceptes la solicitud. Fish. 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 Eh, pescado. Pescado. Ah, uh, eh, eat fish. Eat mm -hmm. fish. Eh, de esa pregunta, ¿para quién sería entonces? Bueno, esa pregunta, I'm sorry, esa pregunta es para todos, pero okay. uno por uno va a ir contestando, ¿ok? Pregúntese bien, how often do you eat fish? Ustedes pueden decir once a week, once a month, ¿ok? Once a year, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, el, Gabriel creo que hizo la pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, Oscar, Oscar la hizo. Oscar hace la pregunta, entonces Edwin contesta y Oscar anota la respuesta de Edwin y también la respuesta de Gabriel. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, Oscar right. hace esas preguntas. Luego le va a hacer el turno de Edwin de hacer sus preguntas y Edwin va a anotar las respuestas de Gabriel y de Oscar. ¿Ok? Ok, thank you. Nice. Uh, ok, Usa. my... La otra. Al día. Eh, pues, eh, casi siempre, pero... Para decir... <ríe> three times. Ah. Three times. Tres veces al día. No, okay. okay. Three times three. a day. Three times a day. A day. Three times a day. Y, y vos este... Teacher, I need you. Okay. Tell me. Eh, hacer inventario sería who often do you take inventory? Invent Sorry, ¿o cómo in se dice inventory? Uh -huh. Inventory. Take inventory, it's okay. Ah, o, o puedes decir take o check inventory. Check inventory. Check. Okay. Ah, pues esa, esa sería la otra, Stephanie. Bye. Bye. Mire, Jacqueline. Am... Every day am... sería todos los días, teacher. Sorry. Every day. Sería Every todos day, los días. todos los días. Every ah, day. Okay. Yes. Ajá. Pero si lo hablamos así como ya en el trabajo que todos los días, pero o sea, de lunes a sábado. ¿Cómo puedo yep. Yes, of course, from Monday to, uh, to Saturday. That's it. Ah, uh, entonces sería ¿cómo? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 
she have uh, many. She has meetings mm -hmm, every ah, day. She has meetings every day. Yes, that's uh -huh. it. Exacto, así es. Good, okay. Carlita. Estoy aprendiendo. Llegame. Entonces yo sería, I am, I am ha, every day. I have. I ha, ah, I have. Sí, porque te preguntan, how often do you have what meetings or what? What is the question? I didn't, I didn't listen. I have many. Have meetings. Many. Okay, meetings. okay. Uh -huh. you can say yeah. every day. So mm -hmm. I have meetings every day. Ah, right. okay. okay. Good. Thank you. Welcome. Yes, every day. Every day. Okay. Every day. Grupo, okay. Este grupo es el propio. <laughs> Uh, el poderoso, el mero macizo. Este grupo es el de relajo. El mero mero. Aquí me van a pervertir a Rosita. Son bromas, son bromas. Quieren. Diga, teacher. Me gusta que carito indignada la carita. Indignadation. <laughs> yes, tell me. Diga Elvira. Elvira. Con su acento. ¿Ah? Con su acento. Elvira. Elvira. Ah, ay, qué fiel. Suena Elvira. bien. Elvira. ¿O cómo, ¿Cómo dicen ustedes? Eh, lo que pasa es que a ella no le gusta que, que no le digan gusta. Rosa, pero yo digo que usted lo dice Rosita. So. Rosita, Rosita. ¿Y por qué no me decís Rosa? ¿Por qué no me decís Why don't you say it? Elvi, te puede decir. Uh -huh. No, no, tampoco. No, Rosita no, 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 suena, no, no, le suena no, no, más, no, no, le, le sale Elvira. más bonito, dicho. I don't know. I, you tell me the way you do to like to, to call you. I don't know. Rosita, a nosotros nos gusta el Rosita. Rosita. No, sí. Pero Rosa no te gusta. You don't no. like it. Rosita. No, me gusta Elvira. 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 Okay. Okay. The way you prefer. La manera que tú lo prefieres. Okay. okay, pues. Did you finish? Did you finish? No. Terminaron? Okay. No. The second. The second. Me parece que estaban question. hablando de otras cosas. Dije, quiero escuchar de qué Nosotros estaban hablando. Nosotros estábamos haciendo el trabajo. Oh. Okay. So formal. How often do you go to the beach, Raquel? Um, twice. Days and como dice año. Dos veces al año. Yes, two times a year. Mm -hmm. Two times a year. Pueden decir dos veces al año. Okay. Times a year. Week. Week two. Week. Quick, quick, quick. Sí, va. Three is week. Three is a week. Three, sí. Week, okay. Y Oscar. Eh, is regular. Mm, vamos a ver. Eh, what, uh, what's a week? Every, what's, once a week. Ah, once a week. Una vez a la semana. Okay. Uh, Silk. How often do you eat pizza? Um, once a one, one me. Ajá, no, no, no me quita el sueño. <laughs> bueno, yo tengo una. I have one. Uh,
Okay, welcome back. Joanna, Jacqueline, did you finish? Terminaron? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. Now you have to uh, present one sentence. Tienen que presentar solo una oración. Uh, utilizando, you can use, for example, let me see. Okay. Utilicen el primer nombre. Por ejemplo, es um, Raquel. Okay. So, Raquel has meetings twice a week. Or you can say Raquel has meetings uh, every day. Está respirando raro. Who has uh, Ah, Jacqueline. Ok, bien, entonces uh, sería Raquel has meetings every day. O puede ser Carla. Carla watches movie uh, twice a week o three times a month. Ya, entonces elijan un nombre y una oración, eh, el, la acción que hacen y vamos a utilizar la tercera persona. Ok. Solo una oración. No necesito todo esto. Ok, come on, relax. I need just one sentence. Bien dicha, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a comenzar con Raquelita. Ah, no, Raquelita is, is having, ahorita está en el concierto. Relax, Raquel, relax. Eh, we're going to start with Carito. Que se me indignó, Carito. Ok. Ok. One sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, ok. How often do you go to the beach? Ok, okay. Carito, sin, sin la pregunta, solo, ajá, solo la, ah, okay. la acción, la, el nombre y la acción que hace. ¿Y cuántas veces a la semana? O, ok, o... solo con una de las compañeras. Yes, only just one. Ok, Raquel goes to the beach twice a month. Wow, that's good. Ok, Raquel. Lo sé, yeah. la envidio. Nice. Perfect, perfect, good for you. Ok, invite us, invítanos. Thank you. Okay, now let's listen to um, Edwin and then Gabriel. Okay, mention one, similar to Karit. Okay, um, Gabriel uh, drink orange juice twice a week. Okay, drinks, tercera persona, drinks, drinks orange juice. Okay, twice a week. Thank you, very nice, very healthy, muy saludable. And now let's listen to Gabriel and then Carlita. Um, Edwin, how often do you soccer? Uh -uh. Once... Vaya, ahí estás haciendo la pregunta. Solo quiero que digas Edwin juega fútbol. Ed... Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Edwin plays. Um, Ed... Edwin play, plays soccer. 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 Uh, One, once a month. Once a month. Ok. Once, once a month. month. Once a month. Yes. Once a si month. se dan cuenta, estamos describiendo lo que hacen estas personas, ¿verdad? Ya sea la semana. Sí. O sea. Thank you. Carlita and then Walter. Kenya cooks cookies. Cooks, cooks. Oh. cooks cookies. Day. Every. Ok. Cooks cookies every day. That every. sounds really tasty. Suena muy delicioso. Thank you. Walter and then Joanna. Ok. Um, Wilfredo, uh, take a vacation once a year. Ok. Takes vacation once a year. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Ok. Now let's listen to Joanna and then Luis. Jacqueline, listen music. Listens. Mm -hmm. Listen. Listen. To music. Ok. Every day. Yes, that's good. We can't live without music. No podemos vivir sin música. That's true. Luis and then Raquel. Mm, okay. Mardoqueo drink coffee three times a day. Okay. Drinks coffee. Okay. I drink coffee three times a day too. Yeah. Necessary. Coffee is so necessary. Yes, si no, nos volvemos ogros. Raquel, your turn. And then we go with um, Jacqueline. Okay. Um... Carito has visited her family five, every five years. Okay, yes, because she has to travel, right? So, well, every five years, okay. Thank you, Jacqueline, and then we go with Rosita. 
Sí. Okay. Stephanie go eat pizza once a week. Okay. Go to eat pizza once a week. Nice, perfect. Thank you. Rosie and then Wilfredo. Uh, Raquel often beats five a month. Okay. Nice, perfect. Uh, Wilfredo, Kenya. Uh, Walter often, uh, often visit your family uh, one one uh, weekend. Quien? Quien, Wilfred? Walter. Walter, okay, thank you. Kenya, Oscar. Carlita drinks coffee once a day. Once a day. Come on, Carlita, you need more coffee. Necesitas más café, mujer. Oscar, and then we go with uh, William. Um, Edwin, uh, eat fish every month. It's okay. Edwin, it's fish every month. It's nice. Fish. Thank you. Okay, William. And then we go with uh, Andres. Okay. Uh, Mardokeo checks uh, the WhatsApp always. Always. Every two minutes, maybe. Yes, right. Okay. A saber que esconde yeah. Mardokeo. Thank you. Okay, Stephanie, and then we we'll go with Andres if he's ready. Steffi, ah, uh, no sé si vas en de camino. Ahorita, está. teacher. Okay. okay. Uh, Joanna, check inventory every week. Okay, checks. <laughs> checks inventory. Every week. Thank you. Okay, Andres, what about you? Not ready? Okay. Adonai, I don't know if you are driving. Vas manejando. Hello, hello. Okay. Walter visit family once a week. Okay, thank you. What? Okay, that's perfect. Visits, visits family once a week. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Now, we have like very clear about uh, this topic, right? Y me gusta que están utilizando las terceras personas. Okay. Visits, cooks. Okay, has, that's nice. What is the last book you read? Okay, and what is it about? Gabriel, ayúdame, please. Gabriel, no sé si tú quieres o quieres participar. I don't know, is it accident? Okay, so what is the last book you read? And for this question, where I'm going to listen, or we are going to listen to Joanna. And after Joanna, we go with Stephanie. Uh -huh, Joa. The last book I read is Rayuela. Rayuela. Mm -hmm. It's about, about the frustrated love between two different beings. Hmm. So sorry. Lo dije bien? Suena, yes, suena, it sounds like Spanish. Es un, es de España el autor, the writer. Sí. Right. The intellectual and analytical Horacio Oliveira. Ah, oh, yes, okay. And La Maga, mm -hmm. who is very emotional and spontaneous. Eran totalmente diferentes, no sé cómo se dice. Totally different. Totally, totally different. Very interesting, Joanna. Good, good for you, thank you. Okay, now that we have this, uh, we go with Carla, please, and Mardoqueo. Okay, Carlos, hello. Are you there? Está por ahí, Carlos. Tell me. Hello, teacher. Okay. Uh, do you want to participate? O vas manejando? Yes, yes. Eh, eh, pero... Sí, pero ya casi voy llegando. Sí, para, ah, entonces para... te voy a dar tiempo. No, relájate, relájate. Okay. Después okay, participa. Okay. No problem. Hay tiempo. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Carla. Carlita, are you ready? No. No sé si ya pasaste, Carlos, y no te noté. No, no pasaste. Ok, please, and then Mardoqueo. Ok. Um, the last book that is read is... No sé si lo dije bien. Es Rastros de Dios y otros cuentos. 
Okay. The Así last se llama. I read. I read. I read is. Oh, okay. I don't know what is that. What is that book about? What is that? It's about suspense. Is investigation okay. crime. What? It's about the creation and how angel, angels help to get and there are a little angels that is clumsy mm. but the angels craze at the start that is the exact that got good advertisement the advertisement bronze of Jesus okay it's like a, a spiritual book right it sounds like yeah. that Thank you, Carlita. Very nice. Okay. And Mardoqueo. And after Mardoqueo, we go with William. Uh, the name of the book is The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by wow. Robin Sharma. The book is a spiritual fable. Okay, very interesting. Is it from America? Well, it's America, the writer, the escritor. I don't know, it sounds like that. I no. don't know, I don't know. Okay, thank you, very nice. And what about, thank you, Mardoke. What about William and then Raquel? William, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, please go. Okay, the, the what is the last book you ready? Um, I read a book, Yerno, de El Yerno Millonario. <laughs> Sounds interesting. What is it about? Uh, about that um, this person is millionary, but is, uh, he knows, uh, he don't know that he's millionary, but uh -huh. you... Uh, your your uncle is, is his his uncle mm -hmm. so his so uncle dear. yeah his uncle uh, died muere died mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, ah he, so he has like inheritance herencia he has inheritance yeah hmm, interesting but but he he don't know. Uh, he doesn't know about it. Maybe doesn't later, después, right? Later, he yeah. Notice. Later, he, later he he knows, but is a uh, uh, um, very millionaire. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ahora se me acaba de, de venir una palabra. Realize or notice significa darse cuenta. Realize es darse cuenta y notice también, solo que notice es como notar. Por ejemplo, ah, I realize, me di cuenta. I notice, ¿verdad? Yo noté. Estos verbos son importantes. I recommend you to write them. Les recomiendo que los escriban. I realize. For example, you are talking, you are explaining an anecdote. Imaginen que están diciendo una anécdota. And suddenly, y de repente, esta es otra palabra, buena. Suddenly significa de repente. And suddenly I realized, or and suddenly I noticed that, y me di cuenta que, y sirve como para explicar ciertas eh, anécdotas, historias, okay, pasadas principalmente. Okay, perfect. Raquel, your turn. La chica de la playa. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Sí, ya pasaste, ¿verdad? Honestly, I don't read anything. Anything. Mm. Anything. Facebook posts, ni, ni publicaciones de Facebook. Eso sí, ni, mira. Y los, ni oh. y los, ah, vaya, oiga. El y los, y los de Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Chamber, celebration. That, ah. That's a book. Okay, yes, it is not a book. Sorry, eh, No it. magazines, ni revistas, ni nada, nothing, nothing at all. Well. Anything. Sorry, Raquel, just, you should, you should, reading is always positive. Okay, if you can't or you don't have time, because maybe you can, but you don't have too much time, you can yes. look for audio books. 
audiolibros at least that because sometimes you are so we are so busy that we don't have too much time to to, to read because mm -hmm. you need like uh, calm moments momentos tranquilos para leer okay mm -hmm. no puedes ir corriendo y leyendo right so um sometimes maybe um, during your travel or while you are moving you can listen some mm. audio books okay, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Um, let's listen now to Walter. And then Jacqueline. Hello. Please go ahead, my friend. Okay. I, I haven't read a book in um, a long time. Long time. Mm -hmm. the, last, the last one I read was the Destination. I now or the destiny of desconocido unknown destiny unknown destiny okay mm -hmm. is the uh, Agatha Christie ah, Agatha Christie. okay is it about crime about fiction es acerca de eso fiction o crimen de investigación yeah no de Yes, Agatha has a lot of good books mm -hmm. about it. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, Walter. Okay, Jackie. And then Stephanie. Mm -hmm. I have not read books in a long time. Okay. And solo the syllabario uh -huh. okay. of my sister. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, in... You can say, I have not read, read books in years. I have not read books in years, and that happens to me as well. Recently, I read a book, but yeah, we can say, it. okay, and Stephanie and Andres, okay, Stephanie? Okay, tell me about. It is the story of a people that bought from all the of evolution in just 100 years. Okay, interesting. Nice. Thank you, Stephanie. Andres, are you ready? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. The last book I read is uh, The Principit, El Principito. Okay, The Little Prince. Mm -hmm. What is it about? Uh, ahí me perdí, dicho. ¿De qué se trata? ¿Mm? Ah, eh. wow, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Ok, Estoy bueno, esa era la tarea. Tiempo. Estás en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad, eh, Andrés? Sí, teacher. Yes, ok. Ok, no problem. For the next Compleo. time, try, try, try to prepare your answers, ¿verdad? Si prepara su respuesta, se ven como que más, más fluido todo. Okay, no problem. Um, si no preparan sus respuestas, van a venir a inventar. Y a menos que sean buenos inventando, que yo creo que lo son en español, pero a veces en inglés mmm, nos cuesta un poquito. Ok. Créanos okay. que hacemos todo lo posible por apartar el tiempo para la tarea. Acá. Estamos entregando informes y creo que ahí fue donde Andrés. Ok, sí. no problem. The last book I read is The Richest Man in... Babylon, el hombre más rico de Babilonia, es el último que yo leí. A really good book, I recommend it to you. It is about different stories in which um, it is about how to administrate or manage money. Se trata de cómo administrar el dinero. And not only how to manage, but also how to invest, cómo invertir. About different lessons of, in different stories. So I really love that book. Uh, I read it um, two months ago. Hace dos meses, right? It's well, it's a good recommendation for you. But if you don't have too much time, you can uh, look for all the books in Spotify or in YouTube. So that's it. Pueden buscarlo, vale? Así en audio libro. I recommend it to you. Okay. And um, we go to a conversation. But if you notice, here we have some bold words. Tenemos algunas palabras en negrita. For example, uh, let's see, Zen, 
we have right, you, and supervise. These are orders. Son como órdenes que se está dando. Okay? Pero las órdenes es, cambian bastante en Spanish. Cuando le dice, haceme este reporte. Quiero este reporte a las 3 de la tarde. Es diferente que, ¿podría entregarme el reporte a las 3, por favor? Ok, ese por favor y el tono incide mucho, ok? It has a lot of incidence, especially when we have boss. Cuando tenemos un jefe, the boss is demanding something, está pidiendo algo. So the word please, esta palabra please minimiza bastante, ¿verdad? Lo que es, uh, pues, eh, el trato. Ok, so, please send this package, ok? Package, 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 ok. Teacher, repita esa palabra, please, por favor. Package, este. Package. package. Mm -hmm. Ok, como, thank you. Como pack, pero es package, ok. So, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am es como decir madame, como decir lady, como decir señora, ma'am, ma'am, ok. So, please send this package. Y le dice, look, Skywalker. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, y con la actually le vamos a preguntar a Gabriel que tiene la respuesta claramente. A ver, Gabriel, ¿te recuerdas qué significa actually? Gabriel, busca en tu interior. No te escucho nada. Creo que está hablando con tu conciencia. Uh, actualmente actualizar mm, esa es esa es la trampa no es actualmente Steffi vamos a ver Steffi que tiene de cara no me pregunte pero te pregunto ok Steffi actually sí, yes mm, no me recuerdo Tichi. no te vaya ya van dos vamos ahora con Vaya, Adonai la dijo la vez pasada, que también pregunté. Tranquilo, Adonai, tranquilo. Tú lo dijiste, fíjate. Pero tranquilo, vamos a ver. Edwin, actually. Ya vamos, Kenia, tranqui. Relax. Edwin, actually. Tampoco me falla la memoria. Ok, no problem. Vamos <ríe> con Oscar. Le estoy preguntando a los que tienen rostros inocentes. ¿Qué hay, Oscar? Oscar, actually, no puede ser posible. It is not possible. Salvalo, I vos. No, no remember. You don't remember. Ok, vamos a ver. Entonces le pregunto a Wilfredo. Fíjense. ¿Cada cuánto? ¿Ah? Realmente. Yes, realmente. Good. Actually, aunque este Wilfredo buscó rápido, sí, ok. Para decir. Actualmente decimos currently, pero actually es realmente, en realidad. Okay. Actually, yes, please write, 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 la, 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 la W casi no se pronuncia, write, write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Okay. Date, date significa fecha, pero también significa cita romántica, que es algo genial. Okay. Right away, ahora mismo, right away. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, sure, seguro, sure. Here you go, aquí tienes. Oh, and look, please, supervise the new interns. Vamos a ver, vamos a preguntarle a Mardoqueo. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto, Mardoqueo? Vamos, tú puedes. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. So, again. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please. Supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. I need to have screenshots. Y quien me ayuda es una mujer muy capaz que es carito ok carito please, please, please. give me a hand chame la manita perfect that's it ok we're going to 
practice a little bit and then we continue, okay? Vamos a practicar brevemente and then continue. Let me see. Just give me a second. Practiquen para, para mientras, ustedes solos. Uh, Walter, I need you to accept, necesito que aceptes la solicitud, no te ha llegado la solicitud. Ok. ¿Te llegó la solicitud, Walter? Sí, pero me sacó de, de nuevo. Ok, déjame ver. Ajá, sigan. Sí, no. Sí, no, sigan, <risa> sigan. Vamos finish? a hacer los primeros voluntarios. Ah, vaya, a saber qué quiere ocultar esta Raquel. Fíjate, algo quiere ahorita disipar. ¿Por qué? ¿Estás partners at work? Yes. No. No, 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 no. 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 Yes, y la otra no, ok. Oh, okay. Nice. In the world, no. Sí, no, the no. World, no. 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 Pero así, amistad, sí, ya se conocía en medio. No. no. <risa> aquí. aquí. Aquí hemos coincidido. <risa> ok, perfecto, perfecto. Ok. Yeah. That's wonderful. See you. Well. Yeah. 
Okay, cantando, Joanna. Okay, and here we have some. <laughs> uh, you have a good voice. Tiene buena voz. Nice, interesting. Sí, soy músico. Tengo un oído uh, aceptable. Canto en un coro, teacher. Coro. ¿Ah? Celestial, como te ponen alitas. Y así, o... ¿Qué tipo de coro? Y en el karaoke también de coliche. Ah, pero ¿sabes cuál es un buen afinador para el karaoke, verdad? ¿Cuál? ¿Sabes? No, ahí te... Ay, pero eh... no lo usa. Ah, pues el tequila. Sí, es. Raquelita claro. sabe. Ok, un buen afinador. Dicen, dice la gente. Ok, here we have a conversation. Yes, Raquel and company. Marcia and Luke Skywalker. Ok, please. Ok. Ok, William. Please send this package. Yes, ma. Con, mam, bueno, ma, am, mam, 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 okay. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Perfect, my friends. Nice. Those, those, those memo stickers. Perfect. And then we're going, yes, and we're going to listen to, okay, Carito and Jackie, right? If I don't, okay, please, Marcia and Luke. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Empiezo yo o tú? No, usted. Okay, please send this package. Yes, ma'am, do you need anything else? Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right, okay, okay. give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Perfect, absolutely. Recuerden, stickers, stickers, okay? Nice. And right away, 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 away. Okay, now we continue. Let's see. Uh, here I have, complete the following comments. Use the conversation about as reference, reference. So we're going to check it, but here we have these comments. So for this, I will need some of your, uh, please, Mardoqueo. Can you read comments, please? This, please, read it. Activate the microphone. Micro, please. Okay, please. Sorry. Commands are direct instructions or orders to do something. Yes, something. thank you. Yes, something, como la canción de los Beatles. Something in the way. Okay. So, instructions, orders, simple like that, okay? Uh, to do something. Okay, and now here we have um, Luis. Use please plus the command. Uh -huh. To sound more polite. Mm -hmm. Example given. Tenemos aquí el ejemplo. EG significa example. Uh -huh. Please mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. Order for more. Mm -hmm. please, please place uh, place an order for more boxes. Yes. At the supervisor, please. Yes, call the supervisor, please, ¿verdad? Entonces, utilizamos el please para sonar más amable, more polite, que es algo que nos hace falta o les hace falta a muchos jefes que nosotros tenemos, right? So, it is common. So, please, please, mm -hmm. call the supervisor, please. O sea, que el please puede, it, it can be at the beginning or at the end. But, again, here we have this, okay. So a memo about the new date uh, on stickers, the new interns, okay. So let's see, I will choose Edwin. Okay, Edwin, select one of these, one, two or three. 
Um, three. Okay. Mm -hmm. The new interns. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería el command aquí? Uh, ¿Ah? Supervisor. Supervise. Uh -huh. Aquí iría supervise the new intern. Thank you. Okay, now let's listen to Luis and then we go with uh, Rosita. Okay, Luis. And number one. Number one, a memo about the new date. Uh -huh. Right. Uh huh. Eh, uh -uh. Right. Ajá, right, pero después, antes que dice Please, please write a memo uh -huh. About, about the new day the Thank new you day. Ok, Carlos quiere participar Carlos, are you ready with number two? Sí, number two One of those stickers uh -huh. Give uh -huh. No, uh -huh. ajá give. Mm -hmm. give Give me one mm -hmm. of those stickers one. Ok, yes, that's okay. it Thank you. Very nice. Give me. Ok. Now, free topic. Bien. Me van a hablar sobre la secuencia. Ok. The sequence. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, yesterday, I uh, present to you, I presented uh, some of the sequence words, algunas palabras de secuencia. So, you can, um, you can present your idea by saying first, firstly, or to begin with, Second, third, or thirdly, in conclusion, or lastly, okay? So what is the, the thing here? That you should select one topic and present ideas, okay? No problem, you can read them, puedes, pueden leerlas, no problem. But what I need you is to express your opinion, your ideas, okay? So to start here, we're going to, to listen, Walter. And after Walter, we go with Mardoqueo. Okay, Walter, are you ready? Or you need time? Okay, you need time. Uh, Mardoqueo and Rosita. Yes, Mardoqueo. Not ready. No, teacher, not ready, teacher. Necesitan tiempo, bien. Okay. Uh, vamos con Rosita y Carito, que ya pensó las cosas. Rosita, Rosita, lista. No, todavía. What happened, teacher? What happened to what? What is going on? Um, you have to present your ideas. Se recuerdan que una de las speaking activities, ustedes tienen que decir la idea, el tema de qué trata. First, second, okay. Te voy a dar tiempo, okay. I'm going to give Okay, you. thank you. Carito en Raquel en, y después la cantante. Carito. Me voy a sacrificar por mis compañeros. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, that usually happens. Okay, okay. Carito. Uh, I'm going to talk about advantage of online purchasing. First, you don't have to spend money on food. food. Second, you don't waste, waste time looking for a parking in a store. Third, uh, access access to store and products in remote location. And lastly, you don't have to wait in line to buy and pay. Definitely. But the, the, uh, there is a disadvantage. Uh, they can send you things that you don't de you did not choose or the, that are not your size. Yeah, that's a big problem, especially with clothes. Right? With and clothes. shoes. <laughs> and shoes, definitely shoes. Come on. Yes. I know. So it is, and then it is difficult to return the products, right? Because sometimes they don't have like that kind of guarantee, sometimes. And it is, that's the complication in there, right? But it is different, like in person, you can change, okay, the size. Yes. Okay. But for example, I try to buy on December uh, shoes. Um, they are too big. Too big. Mm -hmm. So yes, but I changed it or yes, no los compré. No, no los compré. I didn't accept it. But when you buy, for example, by Amazon and the clothes or your or shoes is not your size, you can do anything. 
Yes. From China, what, what are you doing? Yes, from, well, China, yes, China. even, China. yes, from China, it's like, it takes like one month or two months. Three sometime. months on three months, boats? Imagine, imagine, yes. So it is difficult. Once, una vez, once you have bought that product, no return, not coming back, right? Pilots, pilots, pilots. Okay, so thank you, Carito. Very good point. Okay, congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Okay, and Raquel, are you ready? Aunque Kenya está con todos los poderes. Kenya dice que quiere reputar a Carito. Okay, que Raquel, ready? Pues la cantante, Kenya Edwin. Puede ser un coro celestial. Lo voy a vestir de ángel. Okay. Raquel. Okay, teacher, I'm going to talk about the children's education today. Okay. Okay, firstly, the state society has contributed to parents losing the authority to correct the behavior of their children. Okay. Secondly, laws have been created that limit parents in the education of their children. Thirdly, schools are instilling that they should not allow physical correction to the children for their parents. So children tend to misunderstand this teaching and lose respect for their parents. In conclusion, for a new, for a good education, correction from the parents is essential. And in some cases, physical correction is necessary without reaching physical abuse, abuse, how do you say? Abuse, abuse. 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 This moderate correction have worked in the past and we cannot, we can notice in the dif in the difference between the old society and the current one. Okay, yes, absolutely correct. Se inspiró esta mujer. Yes, and there are a lot a lot of pros and cons, but mainly pros about what you said. Yes. Uh, we have been had changes and little cambios, not so positive in that area. Okay, that's it. Good. Uh, Joa and then Kenya. The use of all social network. Okay. Be, uh, be have white in the health apps, in the collaborative learning and ambos. And change space. In addition, it's led to hey, have more tools for education. Furthermore, it helped us to communicate, communicate it white relative who are outside the country. Mm. In conclusion, social network help, but you must have a proper use for it. That's it, a proper use of it, because a very important tool nowadays. Thank you, Joan, okay. very nice. Okay. Well, I agree with you. Edwin, and after Edwin, I know Kenya, Eva. Kenya and Edwin. Okay, Kenny, como me, me bajó la manita, dije, se cansó. Sí, como vi que nada. <laughs> ah, oiga, hasta la cara que es. Ok, Kenny. My topic is disadvice. No sé cómo se dice esa palabra que es de la desventaja. Disadvantage. 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 Disadvantage of social networks. Ok. Fear to begin with, they can become very addictive. Mm -hmm. Second, in addition, have a great impact on our emotion. emotion. ¿Qué se dice? Emotion. Emotion? Mm, uh, feeling or emotion. Emotion. Two, emotion. Okay. Three, furthermore, you can get scams and that the the in conclude in conclusion in the event that a sever network does not 
develop many studies are showing that the continued use of this platform can have a series of very worrying working those cases on our psychology and we can have serious problems with our personal that do to not be careful what we post. Okay, um, yes, there we have a lot of negative aspects about social social media. And thank you, Kenya. Very nice. Okay. And we go with Edwin and Rosie. Please, Edwin. Okay. Uh, I will talk about the internet online. Okay. The internet online is a dispensable tool for everything it does. It will advantages and disadvantages. First of all, we use it to do homework for entertainment. Secondly, we use it to communicate with other person. In conclusion, it is a useful tool. Yes, in conclusion, it's a useful tool. Thank you. Rosie, please. I talk about the social network. Let me tell you some ad advance. advantage. Advantage. Uh, first, connection with the people from all over <laughs> the world. And second, enter. enter their timer soul and thirdly in social network you can sell and on the other hand there are the the what is the disadvantage okay uh, number one they can become very addictive second is calm and they felt in conclusion you have to use social network in a world in a good way not for bad things okay that's it thank you Rose. yes so you have the option uh, like a positive tool a very useful tool or something negative. Okay, very nice. We're going to continue later. Ya vamos a continuar después. But here we have this. Imperative verbs. There are a lot of action verbs. Hay mucho verbo de acción, so we can use them as imperatives. Let's see. Um, help me, please. Um, Oscar, can you read this, please? What? Well, um... Imperative verbs mm -hmm. or bossy or verbs. Imperative verbs mm -hmm. or bossy verbs mm -hmm. are word that tell people what to do. Yes. We use them a lot in our instruction. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So imperative verbs are also called or are also known as bossy verbs. Son como verbos mandones. Así se le podría decir como verbos mandones. For example, click the bottom. Presiona el botón. Mix the ingredients. Mezcla los ingredientes. Si se escuchan, es un tanto mandón, ¿verdad? O sea, como open the box, abre la caja. Cook for 25 minutes. Fold the paper. Fold es doblar. Fold the paper. Stick the pieces together, ¿verdad? Eh, pega las, la, las piezas juntas, ¿ok? So these are bossy verbs. Son como verbos, eh, como tanto mandones, que también sirven para imperatives. For example, you can use, okay, open the box. Or you can say, open the box, please. Abre la caja, por favor. Pero normalmente, abre la caja, cerra la puerta. Open the door, close the door. Okay, so that's it. And here we have some other uh, ideas. 
Posi, but imperative verbs, ¿verdad? Que también son verbos un tanto, pues, mandones. Ok, tell me one that calls your attention. Dígame uno que llame su atención. Pero antes que nada, before anything, we have this. Uh, Gabriel, can you read this, please? Okay. Uh Imperative verbs. Imperative verbs are all, are, are all so known. No, as boss verb because, because yes, because they tell you. Aquí no veo, me pareció esta pantalla. Okay, aquí. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, because the detail do what do, to what do? To do, yes. We we put them at the beginning of the sen sentence sentence. Yes. With Which chan changes. changes. Como? Sí, changes. Changes. Changes them into commands or actions. For action. That must be done. That must be must done. Be Done. Thank you. Done. Okay. okay. Yes. So here we have this. Tell me, uh, Mardoqueo, one of the verbs that calls your attention. Uno de los attention. verbos que te llama, te llama la atención. Open the door. Okay. Yes. That's it. Open the door. That's it. Carito, what about you? Okay. I'm going to say throw, like throw the garbage or throw away. Throw, tirar, yeah, that's it, thank you. Edwin, what about you? And then Raquel, mention one. Uh, crack the egg. Okay, Raquel. I don't know what is crouch. Crouch. Crouch, estrujar, okay. Uh, oh, hey, okay. uh, hey. Carlita, you're welcome. And then we go with William. Any word that calls your attention? Rest. Sorry? Rest is la última de primera, segunda. Rest, Rest. descansar. Rest. Thank you. And let's see, uh, William. Um, will. Okay, that's it. Um, let's see. So here we have some bossy verbs, so como verbos que podemos utilizar como para dar indicaciones, ¿verdad? Listen, roll, eh, roya, mm -hmm. eh, shout, grita, shot, es cerrar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we have fill, completar, paint, pintar. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, son eh, algunos que utilizamos para, para dar indicaciones. Ok, perfecto. So, perdón, el show dijo cerrar o escuché mal. Shut, sí es. Este, shout. Por eso Ay. nosotros decimos shut, como shut up. Ah, uh -huh. Shut up ah, viene okay. de aquí. Uh -huh. Shut up. Shut. Okay, ajá, shut. viene de aquí. Shut. Solo que este okay. shut, ajá, es como cerrar bien. Close es cerrar, no, no, pero shut es como cierre. Bien. No, es que me confundí con la de arriba, entonces por eso tenía la, la duda. Este es shout, como twist and shout. Shout. Los Beatles, pero este es shut, es como un shot de tequila, algo así se pronuncia, como un shot. Gracias. In this case, what mean grill? What is it? Grill, es a grill. Yeah. Grill es azar, es como, es, ah, es okay. como una, cuando estás con una parrilla, es una parrilla, yes. estás asando carne y tienes un fresco de Jamaica en la mano, no otra cosa, sino que... Yes. Imagínense. Ajá, okay. sí, porque yo había averiguado y era, lo traducí y era parrilla. Entonces, sí, es, es, es como seguro. azar a la parrilla, you can grill the, ah. the, the, the meat, ok. That's it. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, we continue, my friends. So, we have 18 minutes and we have a lot of things to listen. 
Okay, what if we listen to some of you? Eh, Adonai, are you ready? Con lo de la secuencia. Okay. Please. My topic is the internet. Disadvantage. First, it helps us connect with everyone anywhere. Okay. Second, the faster information. Third, mm -hmm. technology within reach. For example, for science, for education, and finally, now language. Okay. Interesting. So that's it. Yes, as you can see, we have some negative negative aspects about it. Okay. Thank you, Donai. Very nice and very concrete. Muy concrete. Thank you. What if we listen now to Oscar? Are you ready? And then William. Oscar. Por ahí me preguntaban eh. que era whisper. Whisper es susurrar, hablar suave. Okay, whisper. Okay. Eh, sí tengo una, pero no es como este, ventaja o desventaja. No, como tú quieras, pero necesito uh -huh. que lleves como una secuencia en las ideas. Okay. Ah, okay. I want to go Europe eh, freely. I will go to, I will to Spain. Eh, secondly, I will visit Italia. And thirdly, I will go to France. Okay, nice. So those are like desires. Son como deseos que tienes de, de viaje, entonces tú tienes un orden. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, now, uh, William, are you ready? Uh, sorry, teacher. I don't ready. You're not ready. Okay, Luis. Okay, teacher. El tema que yo, que yo puse fue fiscal taxes, impuestos fiscales. Okay, yes, please. Uh, to begin with, I will talk about the bad advantages in addition uh, to uh, advan, 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 advantage, advantage, advantage of filling advantage of filling taxes with an uh, online internet tool uh, for for the more the functionality of this viable tool should be clear. In conclusion, we could have um, disaban some disadvantage, such as the lack of electric, which will make it impossible to work and use the test tools. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Yes. Uh, thank you. What if uh, we listen to Stephanie? Are you ready? Carla? Okay. Benefits of drinking water. Okay, drinking water. First, allows the absorption of nutrients. Second, improves the density function. Lastly, helps eliminate toxin. Yes, that's it. So, a uh, recommendation, drink a lot of water. Thank you, Steph. Well done. And what if we listen to Gabriel and Jackie? Ah, bueno, Carlita, me forget. I'm sorry. Carla, eh, Gabriel, and Jackie. Okay, Carla. Lo siento, teacher. Me estoy cambiando de lugar. Cambiando. Ah, okay. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Toma tu tiempo. Gabriel and Jacqueline. Okay, teacher. Um, yes. I would take about in... Eutanasia. 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 Tú estoy. I do not agree. Do not agree. You don't agree. Uh, uh -huh. In addiction, nobody can know if at that moment the person is ready today. Ah, okay. No. Mm -hmm. uh, in conclusion, good is the only one to convey our love. Law. Okay, yes. That's yeah. it. Yes, I guess and not everybody uh, is ready to go. Okay, thank you, Gabriel. And now, Jackie, ready? And 
Ok, um, el tema fue Fred Lancy. Um, to be begun with a uh, goal have a uh, successful design can evolve without external limit. In addiction, there is a great, great range of action in creating innovation, innovating, uh, innovating and researching. Uh, furthermore, uh, have greater uh, freedom, freedom to manage time, even if it sometimes means uh, working more. In conclusion, to be an independent worker, you must have awareness, tenacity, knowledge, and responsibility. Okay, very nice. Yes, freelancer. It is like a very positive, but you should be aware. Uh, cuando hablamos de esto, es, se refiere a esto. Este. Be aware significa ser consciente. Okay, be aware. Uh, y la otra, knowledge. Knowledge es conocimiento. Okay, you should have knowledge and should be aware. ¿Verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, you, should, deberías de ser consciente o debes de ser consciente, ¿ok? Should be aware, aware, aware. Thank you. Aquí. Wilfredo, what about you? Eh, you need eh, time? ¿Necesitas tiempo? ¿O estás listo? No, uh, no, no, eh, este, autonasia. Ajá. So, very good. Autonasia is the act of in, intentionally causing the death of a person. Okay. In addiction, the world health or organization defines it as the action of the doctor that delivery, deliberately uh, causes the death of the patient. Furthermore, okay. the patient's this will, will so find the discomfort or physical suffering. In conclusion, it's highlights the intention of the medical act that is what wanting one side to voluntarily cause the fear of the other. Okay. Thank you, Wilfredo. Very nice. And we go with Carlos. Are you ready, Carlos? Or oh, you need time? Si necesito tiempo, por favor. Yes. 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 Sí, eh, el tema de internet. Ok, ajá. To, to be in the internet is necessary. An addition every who took is useful in all daily life. Life, perdón. For further more, use in work and study. And cognition, the internet is a social and global base in daily life. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yes. Yes. The uh, internet has advantages a lot. And thank you for being concrete. Gracias por ser bien concreto. Okay. Uh, the last activity is, gracias a todos ustedes. We're going to practice this conversation one. Solo esta es. Miren que corta es. Solo eso vamos a ver ahora. So, can you see? Um, hello. Can I get your name? Can. Can. Esta palabra, can, eh, verdad, es bien común. Can. No can. Can. Los ingleses dicen can. Can I get your name? Pero nosotros decimos can I get your name? Hello. Can I get your name? Yes. My name. Miren. No my name. Ni my name. M. Yes. My name is Tom Wilson. Great. And can I see your ID? ID. Sure. Here is it. Here is it. 
se dan cuenta, here is it. No, here is it. Yes, here is it. Thanks. And can you sign here? Certainly. 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 Okay. Can. ID. Sure. Sign. Sign. Olvídense de la G. Solo es sign. Con N. Sign. Sign. Certainly. 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 Okay. Carito, please help me with the screenshot. And solo esta. Solo la uno. Yes, just one. Solo la uno. Okay. Thank Porque ya no quedan siete minutos. Entonces solo practicamos esto. Okay. Ready. Thank you. Okay, uh, see you in two minutes. Lo veo en dos minutos. Necesito que esta conversación sea fluida. ¿Se dan cuenta? Solo es una. Just one conversation. Hello. Can I get your name? Yes. No, yes. Yes. My name is Tom Wilson. Yes. Sucesivamente. Okay. See you in two minutes. Lo veo en dos minutos, my friends. Ok, Oscar, tienes la solicitud, yes. Oscar, I need you to accept this. Accept this. It is important for you to accept this. Hello. Can I get your name? Can I get your name? Yes, my name is Tom Wilson. Great. I can I see you ID. Sure, here it is. Okay, we're going to finish with this and I will need some of your pronunciation, okay? Solo escuché por ahí que me estaban diciendo great aquí y es great, great. Recordemos en pronunciar la T, name, ¿verdad? Uh, siempre los grupos que yo tengo me, me, me da risa que yo siempre hago énfasis en la M, name, name, porque he visto muchos eh, estudiantes de intermedio que ya están, ya están avanzaditos y dicen my name is y no my name. Entonces, estas terminaciones son bien importantes, aunque uno se enfoque en la gramática y en aprender más palabras, pero realmente la correcta pronunciación de esto pues, es importante. Ok, Carlita, you go. ¿Con quién te tocó, Carlita? Who is your partner? Con Gabriel. Please, go. Action. Hello, can, can I get your name? Yes, my name is Tom Wilson. Great, I can I see you ID? Sure, here is it. Thanks, and can you some care? Certainly. Certainly, okay, good. Recuerden, can, sure, ID, mm -hmm. certainly, okay. Yes, yes, my name is Tom Wilson. Yes. Okay, Kenya, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, 
Can I get your name? Yes, my name is Tom Wilson. Great. I can I see your ID? Sure. Here is it. Here is here is it. Here is it. Here is it. Here is it. Thanks. And um, can you song here? Certainly. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. So recording. Great. 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 Certainly. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia. Solo que no se me desconecten. Algunos de ustedes como que si fueran de esos niños que tienen el bolsón así y salen corriendo, ¿verdad? Relax, no son ni las 10. Se me hace que algunos de ustedes están parados así con el bolsón. Calm down. Ok. Eh, Andrés, eh, Zúñiga. Ok. Ok, Carlos. Hello. Carito. I'm still here, teacher. You're still there. <laughs> okay, thank you. Edwin. Hey, chair person. Nice. Stephanie. Present. Steffi. Gabriel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jackie. Present. Joa. Thank you. You there, Joa? I'm here. Are there, Carlita? Present. Kenya. Thank you. Luis, good. Present. Mardoqueo, thank you. I'm teacher, I am. Okay, good. Oscar. Present. Raquel. Present. Present, Present teacher. Good. Uh, Oscar. Ah, uh, no, ya me dijo Rosa, Rosita. Present, sí. Thank you, thank you, Oscar. Rosita. Walter, thank you. William. Hello. Nice. Marvin and Wilfredo. I'm here. Thank you. Perfect. Ok. Thank you. Ya los anoté a todos. Ok. Solo un detalle. Un detalle. Um, cuando preparen lo que van a decir y si lo van a leer, no problem. Ok. Pero hay que practicar en voz alta. Porque normalmente cuando leemos solo con la mente, no estamos articulando. Y eso nos, eh, ¿qué? Nos confiamos. Ah, ya sé lo que voy a leer, pero al momento de leer aquí, nos trabamos un poquito. Recomendación. Antes eh, de, de, de la clase, el tiempo que ustedes puedan, tómense tres minutos, lean, grábense. Tengan un recorder, ya traen un, un, un grabador de voz en, en el teléfono y luego escúchense. Y si se escuchan bien, y si usted considera que están bien, no, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Sugerencia, porque hay, siempre hay palabras que nos traicionan, ¿ok? So, uh, felicidades a todos. Gracias por, por siempre eh, participar en las Speaking Activities. Nos vemos tomorrow. Descanse. Ah, solo se me queda, se me queda, se me queda. Gabriel. El resto. Happy, happy, eh, happy Bye, bye, happy bye, 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 Happy World Day. Oh, that's good. Hola, teacher. Okay, Gabriel. Eh, podemos hacer dos cosas. Tú decides. Um, ya sea. Eh, ¿Revisamos algún tema que a ti se te dificulte o hacemos una entrevista corta, básica, de inglés? Tú decides. Um, eh, ¿Se me dificulta la pronunciación? pronunciación? Ok, ¿de pronunciación en qué? ¿Has notado en qué? En algunas conversaciones. Sí. Algunas uh, palabras, ajá. ¿Te recuerdas eh, la de la clase pues, pasada, la de hoy? La sí, de... Eh, es que es, bueno, mi primera vez eh, con esta cosa del inglés y, okay. y me cuesta entender, me cuesta entender. Siento que me cuesta bastante entender. Ok, pero fíjate que no lo estás haciendo bien. O sea, al final desarrollas las actividades y, y vas bien. Solo que recuerda que necesitamos práctica, ¿ok? Estamos, eh, pues, práctica, eh. eso es todo, ¿ok? Ahora, este, si gustas, vamos a trabajar en ciertas 
eh, que vamos a ver esto. ¿Qué palabras de aquí consideras que se te dificulta? Vamos a comenzar. Eh, Primera eh, línea. Que uh, por ejemplo, eso lo puedo comprobar que please send this page. Así. Package. Ajá, vamos a la Package, siguiente seba. línea. Package, ok. Package. Vamos, a, vamos a la siguiente línea. Ajá. Yes, mom, do you need a anything Any, else? Anything, anything else. 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 else? Else. Muy bien. Muy bien. Vamos con la siguiente. Actually, ¿Mm? actually, yes, please write a mem about ¿Mm? the new day for the general meeting. Bien. Yeah. Try always give. give 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 me me once of the two's memo memo yes sí A sticker please okay sure so, so here you you go how and look please hmm? please supervise the new inter ¿Cómo se llama? Absolutely. Así va. Ok. Absolutely. Bien. Tenemos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ok. Recomendación, eh, Gabriel. Cuando veas que hay palabras que te cuestan en todo, ya sea subrayalas en tu celular, en la computadora o anótalas. Necesitas hacer un banco de palabras que te cuestan para irlas trabajando. No puedes mejorar lo que no tienes, uh, no tienes un registro de. Por ejemplo, okay. imagina, sacas un montón, no importa que te salgan 20, 30, 50, 100 palabras que te cuestan, no importa. Lo que sí importa es tener ese registro. Una vez ya tienes esas palabras que te cuestan, ya sabes que tienes que practicar. Y poco a poco tienes que ir viendo cuáles eh, te facilitan. Pero aquí es package. Es package. 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 Lo que tienes que hacer es, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Package. Package. Uh -huh. Luego tenemos acá que es anything, ¿verdad? Anything. 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 Y aquí es else. Else. Entonces, da, ya ve que la puedes pronunciar bien, pero necesitas anything irlas anotando. Anything. Else. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Media vez las vas anotando y ya sabes cuáles te cuestan, las puedes practicar. Pero si solo practicas, ah, me cuesta esto, pero la siguiente clase no las anotas y la siguiente clase, ah, me cuestan estas, pero las olvidas. Entonces no va a haber manera en que pues, mejores. Tienes que anotar las que se te dificultan y empezar a trabajar en esa carrera. Porque si no, solo vas a ir acumulando palabras que no que te cuestan. Ya. Okay. Si gustas, anota estas y no, después nos vamos a, para la, de la otra conversación, ¿oíste? Porque si las anotas, te puedo asegurar que la siguiente vez que las veamos, ya no te van a costar tanto. Ok. Aquí te voy a poner la pronunciación. Else. Package. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Here. Y, y, y ahí, ¿cómo dice? Ini. Me. Give me. Give me. Give me. No, no, give. Eh, con G. Give. Give me. Give me. Uh -huh. Give me, ok. Ok. Give me. Give me. Vamos a ver. Vamos. La primera, ¿cómo sería? Mm. Es, es package. Mm -hmm. Anything else. Ok. Mm. Give me. Give me. Ok. Nice. Give me. Ahora intenta sin leer la pronunciación. A ver si te acuerdas de alguno. Vamos a ver. Please. Sandy package. Ah, ya ves. Ajá. 
Yes, ma'am. No mires, no seas yes, tramposo. Yes, ma'am. Do you need uh -huh. anything else? Ya ves. Ya ves. Actually, ¿Mm? actually, yes, please write a memo about you new day for the general meeting. Right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Always, always, give me one of those memo sticker, please. To really help you go out and look, please supervise you new inter. Absolutely. Vaya, ya ves la diferencia. Si no está, pues. Ajá, entonces, ¿cuál oh, es la way. Oh, way. Mira. Oh, way. Gabriel, yo sé que pasan ocupados, pero mira, ya se nos acabó el tiempo, se nos fue el tiempo, pero sí. es, lo que te quiero explicar es esto. Sé que pasamos ocupados, tenemos obligaciones, tenemos la familia sí. y otros problemas. Yo comprendo eso, pero si le dedicas de tres a cinco minutos todos los días, solo para darle una revisada, créeme, mira ahorita, eh, repasamos que unos ocho minutos, hemos repasado siete minutos y ya ves la diferencia en la conversación. Hay una okay. gran diferencia. Entonces, este, si vos tenés dudas, utiliza el, Google, el traductor de Google, anota ahí las palabras y la escuchas. Y ahí vas anotando a tu manera. Viste como yo puse aquí, mira, a ver. Uh -huh. Aquí ve, en, en, en esta. Ok. Ya puse. Package. Package. Así la puse porque así se escucha. Package. Pero no uh -huh. la vas a escribir así. Solo que te sirva sí, sí. para tener una referencia y pronunciarla así. Entonces. Eh, eso es uno. Segundo, aprendete los coros de las canciones en inglés. Escucha, hay un montón de canciones en inglés buenísimas, de los ochentas, noventas, que son buenísimas. Las románticas más que todo porque son más lentas. Y este, okay. practicarlas, practicarlas, porque no solo se trata de escuchar o de leer. Eh, tenemos que articular, hablar. ¿Sí? Eso, ok. Gracias, eh, Ticha. Practicar, dale ánimo, vos podés. Ya viste que solo un ratito necesitas para practicar y ya te sale bien. Eso es, ¿oíste, okay. Gabriel? Así sí, que ánimo, primero ánimo. Dios que aprende. Ok. Así que sí, pero hay que dedicarle tiempo, ¿oíste? Así okay. que nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? My friend. Gracias, igualmente. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.